Welcome once again to another children's sermon. I hope you guys have had a great week and are having a good weekend uh, with all the snow that's supposed to come in. Hope you get outside and are able to play with it, maybe do some sledding. But at any rate, let's get to what uh, we're here to talk about. So this week we have uh, a story about Jesus who goes into a synagogue and he's teaching and the people are amazed at what he's saying because he's teaching as one with authority, not like the normal teachers that are there. So, uh, and then all of a sudden, there's this man with an unclean spirit uh, who speaks and says, I know who you are, Jesus of Nazareth, the Holy One of God. Have you come to destroy us? He's kind of angry, and, you know, he's, he's like in the church or the synagogue. And, um, and so Jesus tells him to uh, stop, to be silent. And then he commands the demon to come out. So it's like this... This unclean spirit has control of this guy, and he's, you know, he's uh, not able uh, to live life freely and happily as, as, you know, God would want them to. So, you guys uh, probably remember uh, these from other children's sermons, right? These are uh, my handcuffs, my special handcuffs that I have uh, that I, I've used before. And, you know, um, maybe you remember <clears throat> that, you know, it, when we were up front in, at the church, which I can't wait to be back at with you all and doing, uh, that, you know, I, I put these on and I had a key. Um, I had a key with me and um, you all weren't going to give me the key if you remember correctly. But, uh, oh, I had the key, but I don't, I don't have the key right now. That's going to be a problem. Uh, I didn't find those keys in the basket. So, um, what am I... Uh, huh. Well, so Jesus commands that unclean spirit to come out of that man in the synagogue. And, um, and then the people are even more amazed because the spirit does come out and um, the man uh, isn't doesn't have the unclean spirit anymore and the people are amazed because they say even he even commands that the uh, unclean spirits and they obey him he's got this great authority and so um you know it's just like jesus you know we're able to go like this uh and that these shackles these handcuffs would come undone and wouldn't have any control over them and that's you know the good news about Jesus is that he comes to set us free from all the things that we worry about, all the things that would make us not uh, joyful, all the things that would keep us from knowing God and God's love. And he doesn't just do it for us, but Jesus does it for all the world. And that's good news, right? So remember these uh, handcuffs uh, that are, are toy handcuffs, you know, they're trick handcuffs, uh, but I use them to remind you that uh, Jesus comes to set us free, to set the people free. And so uh, when we hear good news, of course, you guys all know this, we pray, right? So let's bow our hands or bow our heads and fold our hands, or maybe you can hold your head, hands like this, just like we've learned before, and repeat after me, dear Jesus. Thank you so much for setting us free from the things that keep us from knowing true joy that we find in your love. And all God's children said, Amen. Hey, thanks so much once again for joining me for these children's messages. I miss you a ton. And uh, as always, uh, I'm looking forward to the day where we're able to be back up front at the church and doing these, uh, you know, together. Uh, but until then, and until next week when we have another children's sermon, I want you to remember this. I want you to know that God loves you and God blesses you. And please stay well and be safe. Bye. Save your rule and reign in our hearts again. 
Increase in us, we pray. Unveil why we're made. Come set.